So this question asks us to draw an electron depth dose curve, then describe what is R50, and then name some of the differences between practical and therapeutic range. So let's draw a big percent depth dose for our electrons. So remember, it doesn't have to be Van Gogh type art. However, it clearly needs to look like what you're intending it to look like. So mine isn't perfect, but that is okay. That is an electron curve. Here on the x-axis, we're gonna have depth, and that is in centimeters. Then over here to, on the y-axis, I just do, you know, per PDD, percent, absorbed dose. Here we go, there's our electron. So that's first question right there. That's an electron depth dose curve. Now R50. R50 is the depth where dose falls to 50% of its maximum point. So all you have to do is look over here on your percent depth dose and look at, I mean, I'm draw, you're drawing this, right? So in a way, you got to make this up. But here I'm going to look at, say, that's 50%. Bring it over. I've got my point here on the curve. Bring this down. That is, in fact, going to be my R50 right there. So when we are wanting to talk about therapeutic and practical ranges, I'm just going to call this RT. So that is where we are getting 80 to 90% of our dose, the therapeutic range, right? Makes sense. And typically that is given by your energy divided by three. So again, if you needed to draw this on your little graph, you would just go somewhere to your, you know, um, 90, 90%. So let's say maybe that's right there. That's the point on the curve. Drop this all the way down. And now typically uh, your therapeutic range is going to be less than your R50. So now we want to talk about our practical range. So the practical range, I'm going to call this RP, and that we have to, to actually determine this, we need to take a line tangential to the steep portion of our curve and our Bremsstrong tail. So if we're going to take a tan tangential line, I'm going to do this uh, dotted line right here, have it meet the slope of your steep part of your curve and where that intersects, ignoring the Bremsstrong tail, where that intersects with the x-axis right here is going to be your practical range. So there it is. So that's the difference in how you find these things. And therapeutic range, like I said, we use this a bit more in the actual clinic. However, the therapeutic range could be used to find several other parameters that maybe we could end up using. Also remember, if there's any question about electrons, we can just go to TG25. It's a great resource to send them to. Always try to send them to a task group if you can. So that's a little bit about electron depth dose curves. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'm happy to help. Best of luck studying and good luck.